Good morning and welcome to our Children's Focus this morning. A special welcome to you that are watching online and a welcome to you that are in church as well. Although this is our Children's Focus, we are all children at heart. Today is Mothering Sunday. Mothering Sunday is the fourth Sunday of Lent when many, many years ago, it was thought important for people to return to their home or mother church once a year. So each year during Lent, everyone would visit their mother church, the main church of the area, the church that they were baptized in. This meant the return to the mother church became an occasion for family reunions when children who were working away returned home. Historians thought it was the return to the mother church which led to the tradition of children being given the day off to visit their mother and their family. Now children, you have, may have found a way to show your mums how much you mean, how much they mean to you on this day and how much you love them. Well in my box I've got some things that may give you a clue as to how you may have helped or you may help another day. A teapot. Yay. You may have made a cup of tea to your mum this morning, or even any one of your family. Some breakfast. <laughs> you may have even made your mum or family members breakfast. A gift. You may have given a gift, maybe chocolates or flowers. Time. You might think, I've got this clock. Sorry, this is time. You wouldn't give your mum a clock, but you can give them time. A time to do anything for them or family members to just show them how much you love them. You could talk to them or even do a job or go for a walk. Some words. Words mean a lot to people. Some encouraging words. Words just to say thank you or I love you. A spoon. You may have done some jobs to help make a cake perhaps or tidying up your mess or washing up but it's always good to help in the home where you can. This is a hug emoji. One of the ways of showing your mum and your family and people that you live with is giving them a hug to show how much you love them. I'm sure lots of you are looking forward to giving your friends and wider family hugs when we're allowed to. And forgiveness. This is in my box because you may have done something wrong at home. We all do wrong things whether we're young or old and God wants to forgive us all and show our love for one another because this makes us happy as a family. God shows that his love is for us all, each and every one of us, you and me and everyone in the whole wide world and he gave us the greatest gift of all, the gift of his son Jesus so that we can have everlasting love. In our Gospel reading today, we will hear the most famous words of John 3.16, telling us that for God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish but have eternal life. Jesus is the light of the world. When we can learn about God from Jesus, we will shine with God's love and light. Jesus has given us God's love, healing, and forgiveness. God who will still love us even when we do anything wrong. He's got a plan for us all, plans to do great things in our lives. Some things in our lives can be very hard, but because of Jesus, we know God always keeps his promises and has good things for us. When we don't know what is going on, or if we can get confused, we can turn to God and we can pray for peace. Dear Lord, thank you that you love us all, even when we do wrong. 
Thank you for your forgiveness to us. When we are troubled, let us know you are there for us. Help us to relax and ask for your peace and guidance in what we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.